there, this is TC Made with TC Gaming. Wanted to give you a quick update to a project I did the other day regarding Paragon Assets and a third person project. So, if you had followed that along, just a real quick uh, recap I had done a new project in third person with starter content, and that would have ended up in a project called Paragon 3P. And inside of that project, I had gone down to my vault and sorted that, or filtered that rather, for Paragon Assets. And then I added a couple of Paragon assets into that project to show you how this would work. Once I was in that project, I then copied everything um, from the Paragon animation test maps off of the character and used that to replace the character that was in the third person example map. So if you did that, if you followed along, um, you probably would have ended up with you were Paragon character in your map, the way that I had discussed earlier. Found an easier way to do that whole thing. And if you ended up where you have a character like this after creating a third person project with your default uh, mannequin in there, if you go into the third person blueprint, there's actually a third person game mode here. And if you open that up, there's a section in here where it says default pawn class. And you can just go down and pick whichever character you pulled in from your Paragon assets. So here's the Greystone player character. It'll take a second to load this. And once it loads it and everything, you just hit Compile. And go over here. And as soon as you hit Play, you're going to have your Paragon guy in that map. If I escape, go back to third-person game mode pull up like Boris player character for example give it a second to switch everything over hit compile go back out here and hit play now you're gonna have your Boris character in there and these take a couple of minutes the first time when you're um, compiling all the assets and the shaders and everything that go along with them but this is a lot quicker than what I had shown you in the previous example again where you would have gone to the characters and under heroes uh, Greystone or whatever for example they had the animation test map and you copied it and pasted it in and then changed some things so I just wanted to give you that update real quick because uh, this is by far an easier solution to that so thanks again for watching hopefully uh, that helps you again I'm not affiliated with Unreal Engine I'm not a professional educator if you had any trouble getting to this point watch my previous video and then just instead of doing the copy and paste method use the uh, the blueprint method alright thank you for watching have a great day bye bye